This is Peter Bot and Poyo's 43 kills in third round chat on NA. So this is in the top 1,000 players. Sorry, 1,000 teams on the region. They got 43 kills. Just so you, again, they're dropping 40 bombs and 30 bombs in solo victory cups and like other people are doing that. I don't, did anyone else get even close to a 40 bomb in round three on any region? Starting at fencing fields. I wonder why they went fencing. I feel like if they were going to go a mythic PY for a big game, they would have gone snooty. I guess fencing's more central. It is so much easier to kill the boss in duos. My God. So what do they get out of this? The mythic AR, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, Mythic AR is pretty good, to be fair. And he's got a purple shotgun already. So Peterbot just got blessed. Does Peterbot take all the good weapons, even though Poyo is technically the fragger of this duo? <laughs> I've always wondered that. It's such a weird dynamic of a duo when they both play as capable of dropping almost 40 bomb wins in solo victory cups that, like, which of them gets? Oh, the boss drops the purple pump. Wow, I'm really out of date. Okay. So you get a guaranteed purple pump Mythic AR. That might actually be better than Snooty. So basically with that vault, you're pretty much guaranteed two purple pumps and a mythic AR. And they got it in like seconds. Oh, and we are just full king. Is Poyo even here? Dude, Poyo is not even here. We are versing another duo, at least a top 1000 duo in the region. Not just some complete shit can team. And Peterbot is still just 1v2 running at them while Poyo is just in the POI looting. Okay, he's playing it a little bit safer. He's sitting back and spraying. He's not playing like straight up on their walls until Poyo gets here. Oh, now they just pin them in the building. One on each side. There is nowhere to run. Peterbot on one side, Poyo on the other. Yeah, it's really not going to end too well for you. Okay, we're off to an extremely aggressive start. We only have three Elims on the board with 80 alive though. But we pretty much have our end game loadouts basically so and we have double grapple wow okay wait did this team just manage to survive by not being seen they didn't they didn't get spotted oh these guys are so lucky <laughs> those guys are so lucky well unfortunately this team not as lucky though peter and Poyo are straight on the top of this team okay i do know merc fn okay so first player i've recognized in here so Peterbot, so they're just taking their ones. Peterbot's 1v1ing one player. Doesn't have the peace control. Turner actually almost gets the right hand window edit and takes down Peter. Peter holds his shotgun and wins it. And now the other team that almost got a chance to survive pushes in. Poyo gets hit really hard. So Peterbot now... Oh my god, wait a second. This is not how I expected this game to start. Both of us are very weak here. This game could have already been over like three times. Oh, and Peterbot's just straight up editing on a full duo. Why are you running? Where are you going to, man? Oh, and Peterbot's chasing. Poyo has no minis. This other guy is very much regretting his choice to fight this. Wait. Um, Poyo? Did, did homie die to fall damage? Poyo, what did we do? What happened here, bro? All right, so we sprayed this guy. Yup, that makes sense. And then we... Okay. Yup. Okay, so this game is just not going at all how I would have expected. We somehow drop over 40 kills in a round three lobby of FNCS. And so far, none of it has gone the way I expected. We have Poyo dying to fall damage. Peter has got to clutch up now. My man's pushing back in, thinking he has a chance. Aim it. You know what? Tactical. Tactical. That's only a play you'd see from someone as smart as Poyo. Deliberately dying to fall damage, knowing that it would bait the player into a 1v2 and then they'd win anyway. Honestly, intellectual gameplay. If you're an, if you're an EU fan watching this and you don't you think that might have been a dumb play, like, oh, and they died to full damage, you just wouldn't understand the brilliance of North American pros. Oh, I'm just noticing. Poyo with the five kills, Peterbot with the two. Peterbot kind of getting carried. I don't, I don't even want to say it. He's got the mythic, but like, I don't know. Worth noting for anyone who might watch this on YouTube, uh, Peterbot's in my chat, so I'm going to be completely flaming him the whole time. Just zero Oh, we're versing Chrisbot. We got a fan. Chrisbot versus Peterbot. Vogue's here as well. Peterbot. Oh, don't have a lot of material though. Peterbot's got 24 builds. Poyo's got 70. Okay, so Poyo has the majority of the material. All right, so we're playing very split here. So Peterbot and Poyo really do play these fights split. They try and take multiple angles and just trust each other to win their ones. All right, one down. The other guy, I think this Chris player kind of went for a bit of a flank. I don't know what he was going for. Now he's trying to hide, hoping he can't be seen. Peterbot spots him. And yeah, okay. Wow. All right, well, Peterbot catching up on kills rather quickly. We're at 5-4. That was the snooty team. Peterbot has the double mythic. Damn, Poyo just getting disrespected right now. Not getting a single one of the mythics. 
That's crazy. All right, so Peterbot has to outfrag Poyo here. If you take both Mythics, you need to just... You have to outfrag. There is no excuse for you not to. Oh, Poyo gets taken down. Extremely weak. Poyo goes down to 21 HP. No shields. Peterbot now going to try and close this fight out quickly. Because if they two, if they double pressure Poyo, it could be over. It looks like the other teammate is coming over to try and 1v2 Peterbot. Poyo getting hit hard. Alleviates a bit of the pressure. But now they're boxed up together. This team's playing it together, which is smart. But Peterbot and Poyo, again, just splitting up, taking angle, angles. Fluids, unfortunately, leaves that edit open. Maybe assuming his teammate had it. And now we're back down to a 2v1, which... It's not normally going to end, yeah, very well for them. Okay, 6-5. All right, so Poyo's still ahead on the kills, though. Poyo leading the charge right now. So Poyo getting in first. Playing without Peterbot. Peterbot's still catching up. We have another duo coming in from the southwest, too. So I have to be careful. They're really good at splitting up the angles they take. Oh, okay. So Poyo draws first blood in this one. Now Peterbot trying to make something happen. Poyo's knocked one. So they really don't take these fights together at all. And oh my god. Peterbot full pa piecing Jacob there. We're going very even on the kills right now. That team that I saw pushing in from the southwest. Apparently after watching how hard that other team just got destroyed. Probably don't want to have any part of it. Yeah, they're happily just getting their cash over here. But I think Peterbot might key them. Is this cash being opened? Did someone start opening this cash and then run into the building? That's kind of smart. But there's two teams in this building. Wait a second. This could have been really bad for Peterbot and Poyo. There's another team hiding. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Just don't move, Jimmy. Jimmy, just don't say anything. Shh, shh, stop moving. We, dude, we can key them. We can third party. No, shut the f*** up. Sit still. Don't move. <laughs> just <laughs> the placement warriors, man. Let's see if they find them. I wonder if this duo actually gets to live now. Was this the play? First build fight we've seen so far. Most teams choosing a box fight as soon as they get high ground. Looks like this will be the same case. Peterbot just jumping straight in as Peterbot does. No finesse here. Just spraying in. Do we find the other duo in the building? We don't. If there was any suspicion, again, that Peterbot and Poyo were on the ESP wave. They are definitely not. These dudes made the right play. They're going to sit here to live to fight another day. <laughs> or not fight another day, I should say. <laughs> we're going to live to camp another round. Oh, Peterbot going for the, the clips. Okay. Peterbot knew I was going to come back and watch this. Trying to get fancy. He ends up boxing up here because Poyo's on the low ground. Wait, Poyo's fighting a different... No, he's not. Oh, there's Poyo. I was wondering why Peterbot was boxing up here. I would have thought Peterbot kept build battling him. That's interesting. So Peterbot does know when to chill out a little bit. And it's not... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say when it's not worth the build battle. But uh, never mind. Sorry. I stand corrected. We are definitely build battling. We are full piecing them. This team is really struggling at the build battles, though, and oh, actually almost takes down Peterbot with the auto shotgun. Purple auto shotgun is almost the end of Peterbot and Poyo's 40 kill game, and wow, this team is struggling. Barnacle Boy, top 1,000 duos, huh? Significantly better than me, I need to say that. Definitely better than I am. Those kids would destroy me, but I was expecting for a round three FNCS 40 bomb to like see it, like the fights be a little bit closer than this. I, to be, yeah, to be fair, Peter and Poyo do just make even good players look really bad. Oh, Poyo misses the shot here. Just hits the corner of the build. And oh, aggressively jumps forward without the peace control. And Poyo goes down to 8 HP. This is like the fifth time we've seen either one of these players being very close to dying. At any point here, Peter and Poyo's game could have been very different. Oh, this guy's trying to find... He's trying to create space to heal, which is good. But it means his teammate now has to deal with it. A 1v2, but no. Peterbot identifying the other player as the one healing. Probably uses visual audio, I'm guessing, to isolate the player who's already weak. Poyo, meanwhile, doesn't care. Poyo gets in on the other side, and they just play angles so well. They're always splitting up which side of the fight they're going from, so they're always pinching teams. And Peterbot goes down! Oh my god! Dude, this is just not how I thought this game was going to go. Peterbot's now down. Poyo's got to res him, and the enemy just stops pressuring for whatever reason. Kaz, this guy might be the GOAT. Poyo prioritizes the res rather than trying to take the 1v1. I think he has to give it up. He's going to have to just fight him, I think. Kaz won't let him get off the res. And oh my god. Oh my god. Poyo with really nice peace control. But Kaz holds his shotgun out. And this guy's putting up a really good fight for Peter Bond and Poyo. I'm honestly impressed by the way this guy plays. He just holds his shotgun out, which I know might seem stupid. But 
Honestly, if you're versing a team that's clearly mechanical like this, it's sometimes the best bet. Oh, now he's... Oh, and Poyo gets hit hard again now. Now Poyo has to med. Wait a second. Okay. Really? We did all that to then just try and stick the res in a bush and get... Okay. Well, we were looking pretty solid for a bit there. I was supporting my boy Kaz, but not a great showing in the end. Wait, there's a fake Poyo in here. <laughs> we have Poyo FN6. Let's see if the let's see if the fake runs into the real. They have the identical name. Twitter Poyo FN6 and Twitter Poyo FN6. All right, let's see if the uh let's see if the imposter gets to run into the real one. Do you guys want an update on where our, our camper boys are? I'll check on him in a second, okay? We'll check on him in a second. All right, so again, Poyo takes split angles, so Peterbot Jumps in, gets aggressive, flushes them straight into Poyo, and Poyo's just standing there, shotgun out, ready to go. And oh my god, their play style is just so... It's You would think two players this aggressive might not work, but it does. It is Pam Stu and Lawrence, so we did have a good duo in this lobby. Pam Stu, solo FNCS winner, Lawrence, land qualifier as well. Both of them really good players. <laughs> the boys! They found another building, W! Yes, I love this duo. God, I hope this duo is the one that wins it. Spoiler alert, Peterbot and Poyo do not win this game. And God, I hope it's because Rapid and Thule bring it home. Come on, boys, do it. You got this. I'm loving the strats right now. This is great. All right, back to them sweaty nerd pros. Like, ugh, look at this. Wait, what the hell? Why has someone built this on top? What the... Dude, what is this game? What am I watching? Why? Who built this? Okay. We're back in chapter one. That was the fake Poyo. Just built a gigantic skyscraper. We're on 21 kills here for Peterbot and Poyo. Peterbot has taken the Elim lead now. Peterbot was also very vocal on social media about how Poyo sold the world record. His words exactly. So I'm interested to see what happens here in the end that made Peterbot say that Poyo sold this. Okay, Peterbot's solo chasing down the duo. Meanwhile, Poyo is trying to catch up on the grapple. Okay. Okay, Peterbot's going to get here way before Poyo does. Interestingly, does he try to fight it? Is he going to try and take the 1v2? Of course he is, because it's Peterbot. He does. You can tell as soon as it's a 1v2, though. Peterbot plays way safe with the peace control. And they hit the rift. Never mind. Wow, this island spawn is really hurting Peterbot and Poyo's momentum. Everyone's just instantly rifting as soon as they get there. All right, we're chasing down Leaky Bottom. But the real question is, how is Rapid hitting this next rotate? Where are they? There they are. Don't worry, we got this. Yeah, on the low ground, boys. Let's go. All right, Poyo and Peterbot trying to take down Tai G. Oh, no, it's Tai G. Run, son. Oh, and Peterbot putting in some serious damage on Reason You Quit. Damn, that name did not prove to be very accurate right now. And oh my god, Poyo just flies in and drop kicks Taiji in the back of the box. Good god. All right, well, there's no more rifts to save these players now, so looks like we're going to get back to dropping a 40 bomb. Oh, Peterbot goes down to 2 HP. Absolutely beamed off the grapple. Okay, so Poyo and Peterbot happen to box up and play slow here. Oh, never mind. Peterbot's still playing aggressive. He's got the medallion. That's good enough, I guess. The, the double mythic combat combo right now for Peterbot proving to be very, very strong. Oh, dude, everyone's running from them. They show up and they just run. It's like the solo victory cups, I guess. Like, people just want to play their placement. So if you're playing aggressive, they just instantly try to run. And I can see why. Oh, my God. All right, 26 kills. Poyo evens the playing field. We're back up to tied Elims. Oh, no, he's keying reset. This is one of my three-year Twitch subs. Oh, no, run, reset, run. Survive. Come on. Show him the power of magic zone wars. 1v2, Peterbot Poyo. You got this, bro. I believe. Unlucky. Never mind. It looks like he wasn't playing my map. I don't know where his duo is, though. Oh. The fake Poyo is still on the other side of the map. I really want to see Poyo take down the fake Poyo. Oh, these guys are looking a bit better. Here we go. This team actually looks a bit better. They're a bit more confidently holding right-hand peaks here. Oh, never mind, though. Peterbot, beautiful edit. Hits a big pump. And again, they're going so even. 14 to 14. This would have been a fantastic kill race. Homies are doing a kill race in FNCS round three. All right, intermission. Where's Rapid? The boys, let's go. 122 builds. 123 med kits, good shields, basing up on low ground behind the mountain. I like this. Getting lobbied a little bit here, though, unfortunately. We're okay. Never mind. We're good. Nice. Good positioning, Tooley. Oh, damn. Rapid's the goat. Oh, my God. Sorry. I kind of want to watch this now. Wait. Kids are actually crazy. Never mind. The camper turns into the aggressor. Little head snipe. Oh, my God. 
GTF up. Sat down by the big rapid and Tully's gone too deep. Oh no. Oh no, we're losing him. Oh no, we're losing him. Okay, look, never mind. We're good. All right, we're good. Okay, back to Peter Bot and Poyo now. <laughs> Dude, this video is going to be so weird. Oh, there's definitely kids in the comments. You didn't even watch them. They need builds as well. So they actually still got... Yeah, their loadouts are perfect. There's nothing they have to worry about now. They got spare med kits, medallions, bigs. I don't know how many medallions they have at this point. It looks like they haven't picked up any extra mythics though. So maybe three? I don't know. I'm not sure if Poyo runs the mythic uh, rapid SMG over the burst. Oh, Peterbot is moving right now. Jeez. All right, we get a pretty annoying north pool zone here. We could have got lobbied here. But Peterbot's so comfortable just staying on backside with zone. Not even worrying about getting lobbied. Poyo leads the rotate. Poyo's now jumping on another team by himself as well. And he's looking to try and find people straggling. Peterbot's based up next to the solo. Skepsy, 32 kills here. So they actually don't get as many kills in the end game. I think they get like 11 of the next 32 players. So it looks like I'm guessing in the end game here, one of them gets knocked or they get hit really hard and have to slow down on the momentum. I mean that, no, no, Poyo takes down Tuli and Rapid, no. They get 1v2'd. Honestly, top 20, not bad. Top 20 with an elim. The boys did well. They avoided them for as long as they could. And Poyo is stretching the lead ahead. Poyo out fragging Peterbot right now. I have been making the claim that honestly, Poyo is 8,554 above Storm Surge. Holy good Lord. In duos. <laughs> Holy sh**. I think the highest I've ever seen is 5,000 from MMB in trios. Oh my God, that's a lot of surge. <laughs> and you can see why Poyo makes quick work of Sam. Poyo now pulling ahead, 20 elims to 15. As I was just saying, I do think despite the amount of attention this duo is getting, I think a lot of people really do think it's just Peterbot and Poyo is kind of there for it. Poyo is playing really well. This is why Booga almost played FNCS with Poyo and everyone was questioning it. Poyo extremely underrated. Peterbot getting held on backside now. 48 builds left. He does get that elim. Let's check in on where Poyo is. So they're completely split right now. So Peterbot and Poyo are basically... Well, oh, never mind. We're back together. Okay, so we're slowing down on the pace now. This is where trying to W key gets a little bit harder. Unless you just land straight on someone's head and that player gets sniped. Peterbot gets his kill stolen. Peterbot and Poyo playing a lot more hip to hip now. I don't think they're trying to split up and play separate angles now. I think it's just peace control, shotguns out. See who's up on high ground. Is it one of the teams we recognize from the start? It is. It's Edward on the high ground. Okay. So far, we have Pam Stu and Lawrence still in this lobby as well. What happened to the fake Poyo? Oh, Poyo. Nice cone. Gets the wall, but unfortunately doesn't claim the extra wall between him and the enemy. And Peterbot is now making a play onto Edward. He lands straight up and misses the shot. We've got the bird up in the sky. And Peterbot trying to build battle this one. But Peterbot down to 29 builds. So this is what cost them the momentum. It looks like this play here on the high ground has really cost them a lot of elims. Unfortunately, the high ground team didn't go down as easily as what they were expecting, I think. Poyo gets another one. The burst SMG really putting in work in the hands of Poyo right now. And oh, Poyo gets taken down to 21 HP. Poyo goes down. So this is what happened. Okay. This could have been the 50 bomb. This high ground play, unfortunately, was the difference between the 50 bomb and not. Poyo goes down. And now it's Peterbot to try to win it as a solo. They already have the 40 bomb at this point. And now Peterbot's going to try and secure the win. So this is why Peterbot was saying that Poyo sold on social media. 10 alive, only 13 players. So it's mostly solos. And oh my god, Peterbot jumps out. Big pump on a high ground. We have four players in the sky. Was this a rift? I think we just hit a rift. We did hit a rift to go. An end game rift to go in chapter five. Lawrence and Pamstu on nine elims still in this. So if Pamstu and Lawrence weren't in this lobby, this could have been a 50 bomb as well. Again, just reminding you, this is a round three FNCS. Top 1,000 duos on the region. And unfortunately, Perk goes down. Peterbot needs to try to make something happen. All right, this is the 43 kills. Can Peterbot close it out? Does he win off a heal off? He might actually win this off heal off. It's only 28 seconds till zone closes out. And no. Oh, I totally forgot Peterbot doesn't win. No, Peterbot and Poyo go down. And it looks like I think Lawrence and Pam's do maybe win this. No, Demon Eider wins the game. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting game. Peter sold. <laughs>